Hi everyone, it's Susie. Welcome back. If you're new here, I appreciate you for tuning in and I hope you like what you see. This video is part three of the costume jewelry haul uh, show and sell. So without further hesitation, let's just begin and I will start off where I left off. So this group right here will be 31 A through D. These are all acrylic necklaces. This one here is so nice. I love the green. It has three strands. The drop on this one is seven inches. So that's a 14 inch necklace. It is gold tone on the top with the lobster claw. It has a three inch extender. So 14 to 17 inches, 31A. Let's bring this up close. Beautiful oval faceted beads. That's how it's finished off. I like this one. 31A. 31B. Look how chunky these beads are. And they're so polished. You have browns, earthy tones, and gray. And then you have the clear ones, smaller ones on the top. The top has two strands in gold tone. There's also a lobster claw. This one has an eight inch drop. So this is a 16 inch necklace, but it can go all the way up to 19 inches because the extender is three inches long. So let's take a look at this one close up. has these um, rondelle spacers. And there is the end part. So we have this one, 31B. 31C is a single strand. It's made up of all these type of beads that are made to look like stone, but they are not. It has copper tone faceted bead spacers. This one here also has a copper lobster claw and an extender. This one measures in at 17 inches in total. And that extender is two and a half inches long. So we have this one here, 31 see and the last one let's see if I could get that in frame is this gold tone double strand necklace it has the clear beads and this really pretty buttery bead and then dangling translucent beads on the bottom this one here has a jewelry tag of BR this is by Banana Republic there is an extender with a tiny little yellow bead at the end. This measures in at 17 inches in total, and that extender is two inches long. So the drop on this is uh, eight and a half inches. So let's bring this up close. There you can see. There's the chain. And the closure and the jewelry tag. So this here will be 31D. Okay. I think uh, I'll be able to finish uh, unboxing this bin in this video. So let's move on. The next group 
of necklaces will be 32A through D. The first one here, let's take a look, close up. Really pretty beads in this blue shade. You have faux pearls in between. You have a lobster claw, a little wear on that, and you have an extender. This here measures in at 18 inches in total, and the extender is three inches long. So you have this, 32A. The next one is a blue, hmm, black, glossy bead with black beads in between. It has a silver tone. Flops the claw clasp and a very long extender. This one here measures in at 16 inches. And that extender is three inches long. This one here will be 32B. The next one, long, long necklace. Very pretty brown with, um, hmm, there's no spacers in between. That string. You have a spring ring clasp. This one here measures in at 29 inches in total, making it, uh, let's see, 14 and a half inches in drop. This one here will be 32C. And the last one is by New York and Company. It is a acrylic bead, very long necklace, silver tone chain. There you can see how it's finished off. There's the jewelry tag. The extender is two inches long. And here are the beads. These are like a purple color. These look to be like a bronze, maybe. And you have some clear ones. This measures in at 34 inches long. So it has a 17 inch drop. And that one is 32D. Okay, moving along, I have some bracelets, 33A through E, A, B, C are bangles, and D and E are those expandable styles. So, 33A is gold tone, green enamel, with this design on it. No brand. This one here measures in at eight and a quarter. We have this one, 33A. 33B is also gold tone. This one has like a slate blue enamel. This one measures in at seven and a half on the mandrel. So we have this one. 33B. 33C is yellow enamel. Needs to be wiped. Gold tone on the inside as well. This one measures in at eight inches. And that one is 33C. Now, 33D and E are the same. They're both expandable bracelets and you can see the charms on them. There's a B. These are Brighton and there's the little heart. They're filled with these metal beads. And there's the charms. 
So that is 33D. And this one, same exact bracelet. And that is 33E. Okay. Okay, next up, let's look at some glass pendants that are on cords. Uh, this will be 34A and B. The first one is this really nice clear pendant with this type of design. I don't see any chips. That is inside behind that glass, the design. There's the back of it. It is on this really clean. There's eight cords on here. And it has a copper tone, lobster claw and extender. Really nice end caps. This one here measures in at eight and a half inches in drop, making it a um, 17 inch necklace. And that extender is three inches long. So we have this really sweet glass pendant necklace. And this is 34A. 34B is on like a silky cord, black with the lobster claw at the end. This here cord measures in at 18 inches, and then it's holding this amazing glass pendant. Every which way you turn, it has a different type of reflection. nice solid piece of glass this one here is 34 B all right let's look at some more glass pieces next up I have these beautiful glass bead necklaces the first one double strand gold tone chains Finished off like so. There is a jewelry tag on this one. Simple addictions. Simple addiction. Hmm. This one here has a drop <clears throat> of 10 inches up to this strand right here. And the extender is um, two inches long. Take a look at these beads. Beautiful. I'm a sucker for glass beads. These are almost like a brown, purple kind of, maybe more so brown. This is 35A. The second one, also gorgeous. Clear beads. It has this, um, like a curvy bar in between. This is silver tone. This one here measures in at 14 inches in total. And this extender is two inches long. This is 35B. And here you can see. There is a slight AB coating to these, so you do see some rainbows in there. That's a pretty one. So 35B. The last one, these colors go so well together, the purple and the green. This is a Y necklace. So you have this here hanging off the bottom. 
This one here has a nine inch drop. Um, you know what? I measured it in its entirety. So this is 18 inches long, but if you notice the chain, there's no separate extender. So you can shorten it by placing the clasp onto any one of these links. There is also a bead at the end. Really pretty. Love the colors. This is 35C. So pretty. In fact, they're all very pretty. The next two necklaces, as you can see, are a little similar. They're both in a very antique brass tone. They both have multiple strands on the bottom half. Um, let's go over these two. 36A is this one. Could use a nice polish. Here are the links. And let me show you the components on here. There are acrylic beads and there are glass as well. As you can see, these rings are holding four strands. And let me show you what the strands look like. You have some chains. One looks to be in a gunmetal tone and the other smaller one looks to be in a brass tone. And then you have all these beautiful different components. Some faceted glass beads, some brass tone beads with the ribbing going across it. You have some little nuggets. You have oval shaped ones. Just a variety of different of different beads. This one here is pretty long. Measuring it in its entirety, it comes out to 33 inches long. Therefore, it has a um, 16 and a half inch drop. So this here is 36A. The second one, 36B, is by Leah Sophia. Let me um, bring that to the forefront. Place that one on top. This one here is a very dark chain. These also can use some good polish. Here you can see the jewelry tag, Leah Sophia, and this one is made up of more glass than the other. Here you can see multicolor, vivid, beautiful glass beads along with the brass tone beads. You have cubes, you have these very odd shapes along with round and even these are uh, mm, almost like torpedoes. And I believe there are four strands. This one here measures in at 27 inches in its en entirety. Uh, and the extender is three inches long, so it can go to um, 27, well, let's see, the drop is 13 and a half inches. So it can go from 27 to 30 inches long. And here you have 36B. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, next up I have some more glass bead necklaces. This group will be 37A through C. The first one, barrel clasp. Look at this. Beautiful. You even have these very ornate ones. And it falls down to a little pendant on the bottom, a teardrop pendant. This one measures in at 19 inches in total. So it has a nine and a half inch drop. 
This one here will be uh, 37A. 37B and C are quite similar. They are both, um, they both do not have any clasp. They are made of glass and they each have a tassel. The first one, 37B, is made up of these pink and clear bicones. And then you have these beautiful faceted beads along with this um, cylinder that has roses and foil on the inside. And then you also have oval ones with the same foil and flower design. You have rhinestone covered rondelles. And then it falls down to a tassel. This has a 14 inch drop. So it's 28 inches, and this tassel is about four inches long. So we have this one here, 37B. The last one, 37C, is made up of these brown bicone beads. And then you have these beautiful decorative glass beads. This also falls down to a tassel. This one has three strands. Also 14 inches in drop, making it 28 inches. And this tassel is about mm, three and a half inches high. So we have that. 37C. All right, let's look at some shell jewelry. Uh, this here will be 38A through E, and the first one we have is this really nice strand of shells. This one here measures in at 34 inches in full length. There is no clasp on these type of necklaces, so it's something you just place over your head. This one here, 38A. 38B is a stretch bracelet. Stretch is really good. Love, love, love the color. You have the blue and the white and also spots of brown. The stretch is great. You have two elastic bands in there. That one is 38B. 38C, this one has a nine inch drop, so it is an 18 inch necklace. It has a barrel clasp, iridescent seed beads. You have these, they almost look like little bones. You have some puka shells and these adorable little Dyed shells. This one here is 38C. And 38D and E are both puka shell uh, bracelets, very small. They're each six inches. The first one, 38D, is all white. It has a gold tone barrel clasp. And 38E has some purple accents, also with the barrel class in gold tone. And like I said, very small, six inches. So there you have it, 38A through E. Okay, necklaces, more necklaces, uh, 39A through C. They're all uh, gold tone. First one has a seven inch drop, three inch extender, beautiful. You get this curved bar 
of clear rhinestones. That's the back of it. It is all closed. You have the lobster claw. That one is 39A. So 14 inches to 17 inches. This one here, oh, next month is Valentine's Day. You have a double strand. These are acrylic. You do have open hearts. You have a double link chain here. You have another strand with more open hearts. You even have this heart that has enameling within. I think this side is the same, yeah. And um, it is on a double gold tone chain. This one has an eight inch drop. The shorter strand measures that eight inches. So it's 16 inches and then that extender is three inches. So it can go from 16 to 19. Really sweet necklace. Very lovey-dovey vibes. So that one is 39B. 39C, really cool. I like the uh, enameling uh, in red, outlined in gold. And then you do have some links that are filled with rhinestones. This one here has an eight inch drop, so it is 16 inches uh in full length and then you do have that extender which is also three inches long this one here let's bring it up close here you can see the beautiful red tone with the rhinestone links uh the ones in the center are just polished gold tone has a lobster claw and the back looks like that so there you have it 39 39c let's see if i could put it back nicely okay there you go okay the next group are assorted bracelets uh this will be 40A through D. The first one has some weight to it. It is silver tone. As you can see, there's a, a rope design on top and bottom. And then you do have some rhinestones beneath that. This is a clamper. It does have wear. And this is a Brighton. You see the bee in the heart? This one here is a oblong and it measures in at six and three quarters on the mandrel. So we have this one here, clamper by Brighton. And that is 40A. Forty B is an open cuff. It is copper with this design. No marks. This is larger. This measures in an eight and a half. As you can see, really big on me could be a man's or well it is pliable so we have this one here 40 B 40 C is really nice it is a uh, three rope strands all connected together I see no name in here it has this circle filled with rhinestones it's an open cuff but it's um it's pretty pliable. 
this one here measures in at seven. So this one here is 40 C. And the last one, beautiful clamper bracelet, glossy black enamel filled with beautiful AB coated rhinestones. It is a bit oval and um, there is some wear on the hardware on the inside. Other than that, it's really nice. This one here measures in at six and three quarters. So we have this clamper and that is 40 D. Next up, more bracelets, 41 A through D. The first one I love. It is completely glass. Faceted glass beads in like peacock tones and they all have a very ornate bead cap. It is a stretch. That elastic is nice and strong and they all dangle so it's kind of like a cha-cha style. This one here, when placed on the mandrel, it actually drops down to seven and a half. So we have this one here, lots of glass beads, 41A. 41B, this one here is brass tone. And then you have these panels of flowers. This is plastic open back. This one has a lobster claw and it can go from seven to eight inches. So we have this one here, 41B. 41C is a very heavy curb chain bracelet. As you can see, it has one of those lifesaver clasps. I think they're called Senorita clasps. And this one here is seven inches and it's a tricolor. So you have gold tone, silver tone, and like a rose gold tone. There you can see all the different lengths you can make it. So maximum is seven, but you can make it shorter. And there is a jewelry tag and it says, L-U-V, A-J, so it's Love, A-J. Very neat bracelet in that Cuban chain design. And that's 41C. 41D is really pretty, but it needs a really good polish. Unless you like it this um, dark, it is an antique brass tone, but I'm sure it can be brighter. It is made up of all these beautiful prong set glass beads. This one measures in at seven inches. There's the lobster claw. There's the links. So in its entirety, it is seven inches, but you can make it slightly shorter. Here's the back. This is what I mean by it needs a good polish. There's a lot of patina on that, but the beads are mesmerizing. I love them. And this one here will be 41D. Okay, next up, we have earrings. So I put it in this grid to make it easy for you to identify. Um, the first row would be 42, the second row would be 43, and the last row is 44. And then as you can see, the columns are A, B, C, or D. So for instance, if you were to choose this one, this would be 42B. If you wanted this one, this would be 43C. 
and so forth and so on. So um, <clears throat> let's look at these. The first pair, really fun for pierced ears, silver tone. You have these two pear shaped or teardrop shaped hoops filled with um, beads. And you even have the dangling ones on the bottom. There you go. This one here is 42A. Lightweight, fun to wear. 42B, I love these. I can't wear costume earrings. Um, I'm allergic to nickel. And um, my earlobes would be itching after a minute. These are really fun. They are um, acrylic. They are for pierced ears. Here you can see the back. 42B. 42C, really fun, very large. And in charge, we have these hoop earrings, silver tone. As you can see, they are like three bands. Large. 42C. 42D, I placed on a card. I think they're adorable. They are hook earrings and they have these tiny little red beads hanging off the silver tone hoops. So that is 42D. 43A and B are a little similar. This one is round, silver tone, also for pierced ears. And uh, you have these acrylic, really sweet blue beads hanging, um, well, on the hoop. So that's 43A, 43B, <clears throat> similar, but in teardrop shape, same color beads, also with the silver tone ear wire, 43B. 43C, these are also for pierced ears. As you can see, they are silver tone. They have the nice design on the inside. That's the back of them. 43C. Next up, these I have to bring close up. These are uh, for pierced ears. They are open hoop earrings. Black, like a matte black. Not doing such a good sh job showing these. Okay, how's that? What is that? Um, there you go. Very pretty. Red rhinestone open hoop earrings. 43D. 44A. Very sweet seed bead concentric um, teardrops in very nice autumn or fall colors. Uh, also with the silver tone ear wire. We have this one here and that is um, 44A. 44B, really sweet ovals, acrylic, nice earthy tone, gold tone ear wire, simple yet classic. And then 44C, similar color, but these you are um, little bars, super smooth hanging on a little chain, gold tone chain with the silver tone ear wire, 44C. And the last pair, 44D, they're just gold tone hoop earrings with the little texture design on the front. 
and the sides are polished. And they are also for pierced ears. So there you have it. These are the earrings. Um, there are some single earrings too, and I placed them into a, um, a bag. And I made a craft lot. So um, yeah, they're filling up very slowly. So moving on. Last item to wrap up part three is this amazing necklace. It is multi strands on the top in silver tone and gunmetal tone. You have all this wrapped up cluster of chains and rhinestones and beads. This is a this is pretty nice. I do like this. Um, it is finished off with a lobster claw clasp. There is an extender. This here measures in uh, at 26 inches, meaning there is a um, 13 inch drop. The extender is three inches long. No, I take that back. It's only two and a quarter inches long. So it can go from 26 inches to 28 and a quarter. And it's in really nice condition. This here is number 45. Bring you in again to take a look. Just a really fun piece. Different chains. I think there's six. So if there's six, then this is all made up of those six strands with added beads to it. Just a nice, nice design. Okay, so this wraps up part three of the costume jewelry haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my channel. Please, if you do enjoy the content, give me that thumbs up, don't forget. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's free to subscribe. The button is right here. And if there's anything you would like to purchase, all you need to do is email me. My email address is dragonflybees at gmail.com. Instructions for purchasing are at the end of the video. I also include them below in the uh, description box. So, comment below. Tell me, any favorites? I do still have more left in the bin. There will be a part four. Uh, I don't know when I'll be getting to that. I am expecting some orders to come in from Shop Goodwill. I did purchase some uh, items from there, as well as uh, other YouTube resellers here. So, with that said, thank you for spending time with me again. I appreciate you all so much, and I will see you really soon. Until then, bye.